cjsf.ca or you can listen on Telus HD channel 7014. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sound Therapy Radio. Thanks. Um, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys also, you know, while you're listening or, or whatever, you can check us out on Facebook or uh, you can go to soundtherapyradio.com. YouTube. And, and you can go to YouTube. Yes. Do you want to tell them that part? Yeah, if you go to YouTube, and then you, in the in the search thing, you put um, Sound Therapy Radio, you'll have all the videos that I've taken over the last uh, year, and you learn about the music. And uh, a lot of a lot of fun times in those videos, that's for sure. Um, so, hello, 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 world. This is Lauren. Uh, we've got Megan. Hi. We've got um, John Prentice. Good evening. And our magical guest for this evening is Ryan Fletcher. Hello. And uh, we're going to be talking with Ryan today about Vipassana. Did I say that one correctly? You did. Awesome. Good, good, good. Um, and then we've also got a musical guest um, who is not in the studio today, but we will be talking to him at about 7.15, and he goes by Ian Is. Um, so we are going to listen to his music today, and we're going to talk to him a bit at 7.15 to find out a bit about him. Um, so we can go right in with Ryan Fletcher. Um, what, uh, how would you define, well, so, okay, how would you define meditation, but also what's the difference between regular meditation and vipassana? Okay, uh, well, it's hard to say what regular meditation is because people think of it in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. Um, the meditation I was taught is actually fairly similar to Vipassana. So I think a more common idea of meditation is either to just uh, have some, uh, to go and think, is how a lot of people think of meditation, and that's, that's not uh, real um, deep meditation. Right? It's more like a verb that's used in regular conversation, that kind. Um, and then there's ideas of meditation that are about meditation on an image or uh, an object or repeating a word over and over and over again to go into a kind of a trance and that is a, not Vipassana and so what I was taught originally which is before I, I did Vipassana I went to a Buddhist temple actually in Ireland while I was on vacation and uh, they said to just sit and pay attention to what thoughts you're having and see how long you can go without having thoughts. And so that is, is sort of going towards what Vipassana is. Vipassana is to sit and observe everything that's going on in your inner self, in your body, sensations on the body, your thoughts, heat, like things like heat spots, you might get tension in places, you might get pleasant sensations like little tingles and things like that. And it's about awareness. And what's important about it is the kind of awareness. You want to have a real um, neutral awareness. And uh, one way it's talked about is like you're an investigator. And you're investigating what's going on with you. And the technique is that when we have sensations normally of pain, any kind of discomfort, we have an agitated state of mind. And what happens biologically is that these kinds of things multiply. They, they go much greater. So if, if you get into a habit, just like an addiction, you get into a habit of having a, uh, an angry response to tension in your body, then you'll have an angrier life because every time this tension comes up, it'll come up more and more, you get more and more angry. Um, so what you're actually doing is you're reprogramming your mind to have uh, an uninvolved sort of response, just an observational response. And in time, what happens is the tensions and all the sensations stop appearing. And it becomes...
was just a smooth existence, very, very comfortable existence. And so life becomes more comfortable. And one of the really wonderful things about it is that subtlety. Um, what's most difficult to describe is the change you feel after doing it, because it's subtle, right? But um, this is, I've just completed my second time doing Vipassana, and I just have more alertness, more availability to the world. Uh, I'm more aware of what's going on with me, and um, I see more. Like, I, I just, um, I receive more from the world, and it actually makes life really interesting, and I'm actually able to accomplish more for myself and others, especially others, um, because when you have less going on with you, you open up to more compassion, more love, more warmth towards others, which then has another compound effect, because love is the hardest thing to give away, because it always comes back to you, right? And so it's a really wonderful thing for someone to do. I found 